What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we got Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, Episode 2. This one is called Bucket List of the Dead. Remember, if you guys want to watch this episode in the full uncut version, check out that Patreon down below. You guys can also get early access and vote in the polls for what I react to next. Uh, other than that, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check out all the social medias. Let's hop into today's episode, Episode 2. Let's do it. All right, we are back at work. I'm assuming this is a flashback as he's cleaning his ears. Oh, I like the transitions, how he's, they're turning more into zombies. Everything's turning. More, oh, this is crazy. He's having literal nightmares, PTSD. Like, buddy, the world you know is dead now. You don't got to worry about that. Beautiful morning. Birds are chirping, but the world is dead. It's crazy to think about. Three years worth of vacation time. All right, here we get to see the opening for the first time. Dystopia to the Song of the Dead. Now we see some of our other characters that we're going to be meeting. I'm very curious. Normally they show panning like main characters from side to side. We just get panning zombies with the colorful blood splattered on the background. It looks like a, a Pollock painting. Visuals, not my favorite of the opening, but I really enjoyed the song. Throwing out all our garbage. Getting a little cleaning done. We don't got to worry about <laughs> but taking it to the garbage can. Nothing. Doing our laundry fresh and clean. Got a clean little apartment now. Ooh, some beer. I've never had Japanese or uh, Korean beer my myself, but I've heard both of them are fantastic. This is holy water. The drink of the gods. It is a guilty pleasure to say the least. I just love that irony. If this isn't heaven, I don't know what it is. What is as it's cutting over to a literal apocalypse, the world is over. Hey, baby steps, you know. I respect that and I love it. I just don't know how drunk I could really get on a day with zombies outside you know i might fuck up one time fall off my balcony and he has no more beer gotta go to the store a beer run does kill the vibes a little bit but it has to be done you have to do what needs to be done you know someone oh he's just sliding down to the street level he's probably like what lives a floor above them what's up guys Hey, uh, good luck during the apocalypse. Yeah, I'm, I'm safe upstairs, too. I'm just going to get some beer. You guys want anything? Maybe some Cheez-Its or something? Sandwich? Uh, he lives next door. He's just such in a happy, jolly mood because of the whole non-work thing. Instant noodles, flashlights. What do you guys need? I got you. Two ply. Good taste. That one ply. I do like that he's on his movement rider shit, always riding his bicycle, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, sadly enough, I know some friends in real life that have probably that same mentality. <laughs> Someone set up a GoPro on a bike watching? Another human. I see her in the opening. Ooh, who is she? She looks like she's working out. <laughs> beer, beer, beer. He's over here collecting some water. Is he risen her up? Yes, she's more of a logical reasoning person, whereas you don't understand the work situation we've been through the last three years. If you did, you would want some beer too. You did kind of leave the door cracked too, Tendo, you know. She is more like a Kohaku from Dr. Stone, you know. 
And we're going to need to build our trust from her and, and show her why we're amazing, even though he does not need protection from us. Or she protected us. Now, who in the hell is this guy? Or girl. Or maybe it's a dead driver who turned into a zombie. There she goes. And it was just a dead driver. Oh, yeah. I agree. I have a feeling we will. Moped? He's like, do we get a car? A motorcycle? I would try to get with a car. Just more a little outward protection. Okay, I'm a Harley Davidson. Lori Richardson. I don't think we got them their, their cup of noodles or toilet paper, though. Today was a pretty good day, I can't lie. Are they going to be dead or... Oh, that is so sad. It's the cruel reality of this world we live in. Analyzing risk, all that, you know, fun and games, but it's something essentially needed. Because these people we met, they're so dead. And now the vibe that we were bumming, drinking this beer, chilling out like it's the best day ever is kind of not the same anymore. We're doing a little more pondering. It doesn't matter when we die, we'll never be able to do everything we want. Reaffirm the purpose of the show for me, Tendo. Come on. We know that you got a whole bucket list. No more bumming around drinking beers. Let's get this bucket list going, you know? I agree with that wholeheartedly. First thing on the bucket list, what are we going to write down? I see, I see. So he is knocking off the things that he's wanted to do. Confess to the girl he loved was Sayori from uh, last episode. But then he got to clean his room. Awesome. Loaf around, drink beer, ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Something I have on my bucket list. So he's already ahead of me. I've definitely drank in beer and loafed around all day and cleaned my room. Try out dreadlocks. That is nowhere near what I was expecting. Wine and dine. He's just thinking of whatever sounds fun at the time. Write it all down, buddy. Um, Let me think of what I want to do. Uh... Damn, that's hard. I want to ride a train. I've never rode a train. I want to ride a helicopter. Ooh, that's an interesting cut. Is that his dad or someone we knew? Go home and spend time with my parents. It is something that most children should do. With my best bud, meet the woman of my dreams. Start thinking about the future, you know? I like this. As kids, we should all try to spend a little more time with our parents. I say as kids, not age-wise, but like as children of our parents, you know? Now we're seeing her perspective. She is very into training and fitness. In LA? Who does she work for? She has her own little itinerary. Walking Dead and uh, World War Z. <laughs> Literally. Walking? Well, she, I can't lie. I was kind of roasting her for being anal analytical and observant when it comes to risks and taking certain... You know, but she is very smart when it comes to this. Like, She would actually survive <laughs> in a zombie apocalypse, which I, I respect. Limit sugar intake. Do you take one, though? Come on, you gotta take one. So she's one of those that doesn't veer off the path of strictness even for a cupcake. Even a little bit, or whatever that was, you know? I do like getting this entire interaction from her POV, though. He's not wrong to a certain extent. He's thinking about the current moment, but... So going inside her head throughout this entire interaction and seeing how quickly she's able to come up with a plan, put in that... If I can get the timing just right. He was just... She was so focused on the plan that him jumping in front of her to uh, save her from the zombies put him in danger from the truck, which she already had a plan of, like... There's so much shit going on. With the music going on, it gives me, like, Dr. Stone vibes. Like, that's like some Kohaku shit, I'm telling you. Haha. <laughs> 
I love how they're fourth wall meta breaking that, you know, like they're referencing zombie movies in the zombie show in which they're watching, re you know, like I love that shit. Mm, she's reviewing footage, getting raw data like she wanted. But he definitely made an impression on her. Mmm, it's a mochi. See, sometimes, even though you do have to live within the confines of rules and regulations, you know, I think he, even if it's that slight little bit, I think his impression on, on uh, avoid taking risk is already getting on her, you know? Like, maybe, come on, come on! Well, that was a great second episode i am enjoying the fact that even though we're in a zombie apocalypse and we're having the time of our life that he did still need some humbling because he's still in technically that honeymoon phase of it where he's like i'm off work i just need to worry about not working drinking beer chilling but i think the i forget their name the kosakus put it into perspective like even though this is heaven not only could you die at any moment in time or day due to the outside variable circumstances of the zombies, but just in life in general, you could die at any moment. So we need to live, like he said, life's too short to avoid taking risks. You can't live like that, you know, like what's her name? But you also, you, you technically have both ends of the spectrum, which I really enjoy. Her, which is pure rigidness, pure strictness, him, which is none of the above. And you need to find a good balance of it in the middle and you'll have a perfectly healthy, balanced life and I love that but I also enjoyed seeing his perspective so we get his side and then seeing her perspective of the entire thing getting her side literally two opposite ends and then both of them were not I mean yeah I'm not gonna say both of them were not incorrect like going to the store risking your life for a beer kind of crazy but if that's what brings you joy and you know like it's so weird but I love the concept I love us touching on these topics of what is the meaning of life, but in not like your typical meaning of life kind of way. It's like sometimes you there is none. You just do what you do, what can you can do with those around you until sadly your time is ended on this. It's so weird. I'm loving the show, though. Animation's great. Characters are great so far. Thoroughly enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. You guys can vote on what I watch next, early access, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.